This episode is made possible in part by ABC Mouse. My name is Agent Orla. These are my partners, Oswald, Omar, and Osmeralda. This is everything. We travel the world investigating anything strange, weird, and especially odd. Our job is to put things right again. Who do we work for? We work for Odd Squad. Double O Trouble. Daddy for our something very odd has happened in Chicago. How do we help? Odd Squad agents from all over the city were having a picnic to celebrate the opening of their 25th tube entrance. Then this happened. Hello, Odd Squad. My name is Artie Craft, and I love arts and crafts so much that I turned every agent in Chicago into paper dolls. Luckily, they were all holding hands at the time. And now that I have no more agents in the city, I can spread art and craft oddness everywhere! <laughs> Luckily, two agents managed to escape for evil Ray and activated their location tracking devices. Your job is to connect with them so they can help you track down Artie. Since there are no Odd Squad agents left in the city, I'll need two of you to park the van in downtown Chicago and help people with their regular day-to-day -day oddness. I volunteer for Art Chicago! The fairest way to decide is by drawing straws. Ooh, tough call. These are all really nice straws. But since I have to decide, I pick Orla's. Curly straw. Nice. And also it's metal straw. Can't argue with that. Great drawing. And you saved the planet. Well, what are you waiting for? Go! <gasps> now arriving in Chicago. The Windy City. The second city. A city in a garden. Ugh. Cities should decide on one name. According to my homing beacon, the two Chicago agents look like they're at the Wrigley Building. Then let us venture forth. Awesome, we're all done. I will join you soon. There can't be that many people with odd problems. Did you want to say, uh, or should we say it together? Together. Uh, excuse me. Coming us. to you. Oh, sorry. All right, people. Apparently, the two agents are right here. But I don't see them. It sounds as though they're inside, likely coming up with a plan to stop the craft villain. Mm -hmm. Aha! <laughs> hey! The Odd Squad mobile unit. I'm Oxford. This is Oslin. Thanks for coming to help us. It's not every day you lock yourself in a building while on cantaloupe duty. Cantaloupe duty? This clock tower runs on a cantaloupe and Osgood agents have been responsible for replacing it once a week since it was built in 1924. Specifically, new Osgood agents. It's our second day. We would have used gadgets to escape, but ours only do cantaloupe things. Like this, cantaloupinator. What am I supposed to do with this? I can make you cantaloupe balls with my cantaloupe ballinator. Wait, you weren't at the Osgood picnic for the new tube entrance opening? No. Oh boy. I'm not sure how to tell you this, but... Every agent in Chicago has been turned into a paper doll. Wait, Wait what? what? A villain named Artie Kraft is responsible for this tomfoolery, and we need your help finding her before she causes more oddness. Oh, I have a feeling she caused more oddness. Oh, hi, Odd Squad. Artie Kraft here again. I covered the Marina City Towers in tie-dye. Look! And then I went and I zapped the Art Institute and covered it with paper flowers. Oxford, Osland, any ideas? We go back inside and hide. Agreed. Archie Craft is way too smart. I mean, she already figured out the Odd Squad tube system. She's holding an Odd Squad tube map. Look, she must have stolen that map at the Odd Squad picnic. And now she's striking tube entrances around Chicago. To shut down the tubes for good. Fine work, Oxford and Osland. What do we do next? We have no idea. Yeah, we just started out Squad. 
Like, I only just found out there are 25 tube stations in Chicago. What if Artie is striking some tube stations, but not others? You mean following a pattern? Exactly. If we can figure out the pattern, we can predict which tube station Artie will hit next. Wow, you two are on fire today. Wow. What other knowledge does the gray matter in your brain contain? Um, maybe we could use the number line to see if there's a pattern to the tube entrances she's striking? Marina Towers and the Art Institute are two entrances one and four. And there are two empty spaces between one and four, numbers two and three. Maybe she's skipping by two spaces. So, if we use the number line to count two empty spaces after four, five, and six, it will take us to seven. Two veterans, seven is the Brookfield Zoo. Then let us venture forth. Wait, shouldn't you maybe call Omar and Osmeralda to help instead? No can do. They're in the van helping people with odd problems. Besides, you two are pros. Onward home! Minus this cantaloupe. Oh. <laughs> Wyatt, please, we can't understand you if you all talk at once. Especially if your head is a deep dish pizza. Osmeralda and I will solve your odd problems one at a time. This shouldn't take too long. There are 53 more people outside. What? Honestly, it's more like 100 people, but I didn't want to freak you out. I have an idea. Everybody, get comfy. Excuse us a second. In order to solve this quickly, we need an extra set of hands. We could ask that lady over there. Hello. So weird. I mean, someone who knows how to solve oddness, like me, which is why I'm going to use the multiplinator on myself. I still don't get it. Multiplication is just groups of something. So if I set the multiplinator to two, and then zap myself, that's just one of me multiplied by two, or one group of two. Watch. Awesome. Hey, Omar Double, why don't you go over there and help the lady with the extra hands? You got it, Omar. This seems like a bad idea. I remember during my gadget training that when you multiply yourself, the quality diminishes each time, like a stamp. Look. The first time you stamp, it looks great. But when you keep stamping, the quality fades. That's kind of how a multiplier needle works. That won't be a problem, because I don't plan on making any more Omar doubles. One is plenty, see? Oh, whoop. Thanks, Odd Squad! And the sooner we solve all these odd problems, the sooner we get to go out and explore Chicago. All right, who's next? What will do to Ventron 7? Ugh, it's freezing. Jacketinator. Oh, nice. No sign of Artie Craft yet. Because you're in the wrong place. I was just visiting the giant Ferris wheel at Navy Pier, and the villain you're looking for covered it in colorful pom-poms. Navy Pier's two benches number nine. You're probably wondering why I'm still wearing the pom-poms. No. Not really. I don't think she's going to leave until we ask her. Why have you not removed the pom-poms from your person? Because it's my birthday, and it's kind of working for me. Happy birthday. Thank you. Now, let's look at the number line to see the two benches that she hit. Maybe the villain is doubling. First, it was two spaces between the places she struck. Then it was four, because the double of two is four. Great idea, Osland. He heard me say maybe, right? Doubling is indeed the pattern. She will now double four to make eight. So she would skip eight spaces. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 to get to 18. Two hundred eighteen. That's the theater district. Let's go. How's it going, Omar Double? Great. I just helped someone with chair eye this. Now I'm going to zap this man's deep dish pizza head. Thanks, Odd Squad. Not a problem. Have, Have a great day. day. And Osmeralda thought this would be a bad idea. Hey, Omars. Who are you? You. Kind of me. I was feeling a bit overwhelmed, so I used the multiplinator on myself to get some help. But the stamp quality thing. Not sure what you're talking about. Me either. Maybe we can ask one of the other Omar doubles. Oh, no. <laughs> Two vengeance 18.
Theater district. No sign of Artie Craft here either. Maybe she's been causing on us and we can enjoy some cantaloupe. Or maybe we're in the wrong place. Look! But that's City Hall, tube entrance 16. We must stop her. Jack, it's off for faster running. Whoa. Come on. turned all of you into paper dolls. We're from the mobile unit. Oh, then why don't your outfits match? There was the mobile unit. We're new agents on cantaloupe duty. Wonderful. That means adding all four of you to my Odd Squad paper doll collection will be so much easier. I zap them. Oh well, I'm still gonna laugh maniacally. <laughs> to be continued. And now the rest of the story. You're the last person on our list. So, what seems to be the problem? I've been really unhappy lately. Kind of like there's a giant cloud hanging over your head? Exactly. Not a problem. I just need to ask you a few questions before I can... Osmeralda, you were right. Making a double of myself was a bad idea. Hey! Ah! That's my double you're talking to. Isn't she great? No, you're great. 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 Okay, can I talk to you for a second? No, you're great. Why did you double yourself? Because you said it was a good idea. You also said the sooner we solve all these odd cases, the sooner we get to explore Chicago. And all those things were true, but then the stamp thing happened. Wait, you made more than one double of yourself? Not me. My Omar double made a double of himself, then that one made a double of himself, then that one made a double of himself, then How that... How many Omar doubles are there? That's the thing. The numbers grow really quickly when you're dealing with multiplication. Look. First, it was just me and my double. Then my double multiplied himself by two, which is one group of two. Then he multiplied the two Omars by two, which is two groups of two. So, are you telling me there are four Omars? No, because then he multiplied the four Omars by two, which is two groups of four. Are you telling me there are eight Omars? No, because then he multiplied the eight Omars by two, which is two groups of eight, which equals 16 Omars. Wait, are you telling me that? You know what? Just cut to the chase. How many Omars are we dealing with? Including me, 17. And I think your double's doing the same thing. Oh no, we need to fix this. I have an idea, but first, we need to round up all the doubles and bring them back here. Doubles, run! Wait! Next time, we should whisper our plan. Good call. This is a grocery list. <sighs> Do you think we outran Artie Croft? I think so. We ran for over an hour. Then we took a bus, a taxi, and a rickshaw. That rickshaw driver was really nice. Brian, right? Michael. Wow, he really looked like a Brian. We need to do something. How about a snack? I made these with my cantaloupe pollinator. Pretty neat, huh? Oxford, we need to save the day. Us? How? We've only been working in Odd Squad for two days, and every Odd Squad agent in Chicago has been turned into a paper doll, including Orla and Oswald. Wait, what about Omar and Esmeralda? They're back in the van helping people without problems. I'm calling them right now. Good idea. Get the experienced agents out here to solve this. It's ringing. Still ringing. You sure you got the right number? Omar's house of friendship. Omar, hi, it's Alden and Oxford, the two agents from Chicago. Oh, hey, so nice to meet you. But now's not a good time. We're looking for doubles. Did I just hear doubles? <sighs> yeah, we use the multiplinator, and now there's doubles of ourselves everywhere. And then those doubles made doubles, and then all those doubles made doubles. Hey, I didn't double anyone. I've just been here reading the paper. 
But I could double myself if that's what everyone else is doing. No! Okay. But I'll probably do it anyway. <laughs> I gotta go. Wait, wait, we need help catching Artie Craft. Or do you? What? You already know who the villain is, and you're having a tough time catching her. Seems like you're doing everything right so far. How is no, that? No, no, no. I found one! Go back, Jimmy! I believe in you. Now it's time for you to start believing in yourselves. Wow. <laughs> that was really good. Wow, that was really not good. It's over, Oxford. Our first week on the job and we failed. Maybe we should have those cantaloupe kebabs after all. No. I'm confused. What's going on? Omar said they used a multiply knitter, right? Yeah. I think Artycraft is using multiplication or grouping as a pattern. Take a look at this. Whoa, it's my first time using this thing. It's kind of wild how it spins. <clears throat> the first place he struck was tube entrance number one. Because when you multiply one by one, it's one, or one group of one. But the second place she struck was two entrance four. Because she multiplied two by two, or two groups of two, which equal four. And the third place she struck was two entrance nine. She multiplied three by three, or three groups of three, which equals nine. And City Hall was at two entrance 16. 16 is four groups of four. The next spot will be the fifth place, and five groups of five equals... Five, five 10, 10, 15, 15 20, 20, 25. 25. Two entrance, entrance 25. 25. Oh no, that's Millennium Park. Where Omar and Osmeralda are parked. We need to hurry. That's all of them. Now what? I'm gonna set the multiplinator to zero because any number multiplied by zero equals zero. Here we go. Wait! Wait. What is it? Can we at least say a few words before we disappear for good? Sure. Of course. I'd like to say, on behalf of all the Omars, it's been a real pleasure being you. Aw, thanks. And on behalf of all the Osmeraldas, we really like being you two. That's so sweet. And now the devil shall rise up. We attack on three, one, two. I gotta say, I'm kind of proud of them for trying. Agreed. They did help us solve a lot of our problems. Yep. Nothing left to do now except enjoy the sights of Chicago. The van is under attack! The van is under attack! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Why is the door not opening? It has been sealed shut. <laughs> now that the mobile unit is all gone, I can create even more to grab oddness in the Windy City. <laughs> oh, squad! squad. Two little rookies. Prepare to be arts and crafted. Look out! Ooh, whoa. Ah. Oh, you guys are so quick. I'm impressed. Thanks. I really appreciate you saying that. Especially because this is our first week and we have awesome. keep your head in the game. Right. Arts and crafts time is over, Artie. Oh, really? <laughs> and how exactly are the two of you going to stop me? By using our melons. And actual melons. Cantaloupe Nader! Not really sure what's happening here. Cantaloupe Ballinator. Agent Paper Dolls back to normal. Ugh, fine. Well, since I have these ones in my pocket, I'll start with them. I'm back! back! You'll never believe what happened. We heard everything when we were Paper Dolls in Artie's pocket. Well done, agents. She called us agents. I know, right? Are we just about done here? Because I've got a knitting workshop to get to. Not quite. Once you unpapered all the rest of the agents, we're going to make sure you clean up the mess you made at all the tube entrances. <sighs> but not me. 
It's still my birthday, and I'm gonna run around the entire city of Chicago and let everyone know about it! Woohoo! She looks great, doesn't she? Oh, my best work. Thanks for all your help, Oxford and Osland. We couldn't have done it without you. I'm certain we will hear more brave adventures from the two of you. Adventures that do not involve cantaloupes. Thanks. Thanks. Let's go. Bye. Apologies for the delay. There were a lot of streamers. We're just glad you're here. It's been a long day. You can tell us all about it on the way back home. Home? But we didn't even get a chance to walk around Chicago. Yeah, we were really looking forward to it. Orla, how much time do we have before we have to get back? 20 minutes. Give or take. My watch is a sundial. But how are we supposed to see all of Chicago in 20 minutes? I know someone who can help. your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime video channel.